Emmett Richner is three, going on four. And for no particular reason, he is driving with his eyes closed, which would not appear to be going particularly well. Fortunately, Emmett has a mentor. I got a bagger that fits on the back. Erling Kindem is 89, going on 90. Like this. Uh -huh. And this has been going on. <laughs> Ready, set, go. For nearly a year. <laughs> Emmett's parents had to laugh. He blocked me out. The first time they saw their preschool racing a man who fought in the Second World War. I told you he was fast. I'm super fast. You want to play croquet? Which stick are you going to have? The man they'd wave to, but barely knew. Watch this, Erling. From the house. Oh, right through. Next door. Boom! They're together pretty much every day. Did you find a worm? Nope, it's a, it's a bug. Emmett first crossed into Erling's yard when he caught a glimpse See these yellow flowers? of his favorite food. These are going to be tomatoes. Every time he saw me out there, he would come running over. Erling, got any tomatoes? <laughs> Can you throw a baseball with me? Every day. Erling can't see so good. A new adventure. Oh. We saw Erling over working on this bike that looked like it was from you know, the 60s. <laughs> and I thought, there's no way he's going to get on this bike. And he did. It took him a couple times to get on his bike. And I thought, am I going to have to call 911? Please don't fall over. Anika Richner wondered if so those. warm a friendship you want to play Star Wars with these? would survive the winter. One day I looked out the window and I took this picture because it was just so cute. He was snow blowing a path from his back door straight to our back door <laughs> so they could visit. Yep. You know what this is from? Mm -mm. It's from Erling. Where's the fish pool? He likes to show him things and draw him pictures and explain. So I can learn about how fishing works. He's just taught him so much. Which is why those tears um. have been coming more often. We decided back a month ago to, to move. Brian Richner says their growing family simply needs more space. I love him. It is the hardest part about moving. Yeah, it's tough. And change. It's tough. Is coming uh, for early, too. <laughs> yeah. When you think about it. Soon he'll be 90. Yeah. His wife is ill. And just days ago, Erling's kids finally convinced him it's time to trade his house and yard for a senior apartment. Erling, come over here. Till moving trucks roll. I can hear you. Goodbye. We'll have to wait. Put a washer on. This January, December friendship still has a bitter sweet July. Just do it by hand slow first. Well, there's no replacement for Erling. You won't find a neighbor like him. So you put the washer on first? That's right. Boyd Hoopert, Care 11 News, Farmington. Sounds like it's tight.